Uh, my dear students, welcome to week four of unit four that extends from March 17th till March 21st. We're going to start this week with an explicit. Uh, you're going to plan, to plan and make a storyboard of different pieces of literature. Our word wall is going to include explicit creative thinking, ATL, strand, plan, storyboard, and literature. You're going to watch a video about how to make a storyboard. And in groups, you're going to read stories given and start planning your storyboard. Group A are going to read the red moon story. Group B, the farmer and his sons. Group C, the lion and the mouse. Group D, the magic blueberry bush. You're going to click on the picture to take you to the story. And then you're going to watch a video about how to make a storyboard. Um, the interactive activity too is going to be to uh, how to make your storyboard. You have two ways. You can do it either digitally or you can make it handmade. Uh, I gave you all the steps that you need. Familiarize, familiarize yourself with the story, determine the number of scenes, sketch thumbnails, create scene layouts, add captions or descriptions, review and revise, Choose digital or handmade approach. The digital approach, I give you Canva, I give you boards. The handmade approach, I give you um, a link that you can uh, look, finalize your storyboard, present your storyboard. And if you can, you, you, if this is optional, you can digitize your handmade storyboards if applicable. You have further practice and for the challenging question. Considering the limitation of a storyboard format, how would you effectively convey complex themes for character development that are present in the assigned short story? Discuss specific visual storytelling techniques and narrative strategies you would employ to capture the depth and nonce of the story within the constraints of a storyboard. Then you have a self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, you need to prepare yourself for the presentation. For lesson two, you're going to present a PowerPoint presentation about your storyboard. You're going to exchange thoughts, messages, and information effectively through interaction. Our word wall is going to include presentation, communication, purpose, and citing. You're going to watch a video about presentation skills, about how to name your presentation. You're going to have um, slides go to present to prepare for your PowerPoint presentation. Then you're going to watch another um, uh, video that talks about three body language tips for presentations, an interactive activity for their practice. And for the challenging question, how can you engage your audience in your presentation? Write uh, four points. A self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to write in what ways can culture be expressed? For lesson three, you're going to grasp the concept that culture is reflected through various forms of expression, including clothing, food, and architecture. Our word wall is going to include culture, culture iceberg, multiculturalism, subculture, intangible cultural heritage, material culture, clothing, food, and architecture. You're going to watch a video about how can culture be expressed, and you're going to have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to watch another video about how can culture be expressed through food. And you have an interactive activity related to that. A further practice. And for the challenging question, how do the interconnections between food, architecture, and clothing reflect deeper cultural values and societal norms within a specific community or civilization? You need to provide examples of how changes in one's aspect, such as architectural design, can influence or can be influenced by shifts in culinary traditions or clothing styles, and analyze the broader implications for cultural identity and adaptation over time. Let me give you an example about that. If you think, let's say, about Saudi Arabia, if you think about the architecture over that, over there, think about the, the way the windows are, um, are designed. The windows there are small. If you think about the clothing, the clothing doesn't show or doesn't reveal, or it reveals a little of a person's body. And if you look at the food, you will find the food itself uh, as well is covered in the same way. You will have a self-assessment. For what to do tomorrow, I'd like you to search about the coffee culture and traditions in Turkey. I can't wait to start this fruitful week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.